गुड आफ्टरनून जी नमस्ते जी सत्याकाल जी थैंक यू सो मच सो मच फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू कमिंग इन एंड ज्वाइनिंग इन टूडे I once again apologize for the technical glitch that had happened on Sunday. We had an issue with the Zoom guys. However, it got finally resolved by uh, Sunday evening, and uh, it was in our best interest. And to be fair to all of you, since we had only twenty thirty percent of the people who attend kar rahe the, we thought it is only fair to uh, push this webinar to today Tuesday. and i'm so happy that we have you know more than 200 to 250 people who have already come in and joined live uh, today my name is trishal rao main phoenix business advisory mein general manager hu yahan pe i also want to thank you all for your time and coming in over here today to join this uh, webinar hamare jo aaj friends hai is uh, webinar mein bsmq se जो आपके स्क्रीन्स पे दिख रहा है बिजनेस एंड स्किल्ड माइग्रेशन क्वींसलैंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया वो भी आज हमारे साथ है जस्ट टू लेट यू ऑल नो क्वींसलैंड गवर्नमेंट के जो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स आज आए हैं इस वेबिनार के ये ही आपके फाइल्स अप्रूव करने वाले हैं फ्यूचर में और यही हमारे साथ है आज इस वेबिनार में तो हेंस वी फेल्ट इट वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑल्सो बी देर एज वेल on this uh, webinar today just also a little bit on this uh, webinar uh, just one moment please uh kirtan uh, i'm not being able to move my screen uh, just one moment please i will just share my screen again uh i think greg has uh, the sharing rights you'll have to stop share let me just try this once more Uh, Kirtan, can you run my screen ahead to the next screen? Just a second. We're just trying to get this presentation resolved. Yes. That's fine. I got the rights now. So, हमारे साथ uh, हमारे BSMQ के team also है इस uh, webinar में. Also, just to let all of you know that uh, आपने जो पैसे दिए हैं इस webinar के registration के लिए जो 250 रुपए दिए हैं, we have charged around four dollars, uh, 4.3 dollars for registration, and we had more than 400 people who registered for this webinar today. a few of them could not make it but we will be sharing the video recordings with all of them today just to let you know that hope for the children foundation has also a covid relief initiative aur ye jo paisa hum unko donate karne wale hai sara humne approximately 80 to 90000 rupees already collect kar chuke isme se and post this webinar we will be donating this entire sum of money to them towards a covid relief fund so once again thank you all so much for your useful contribution uh, as well uh, today also just wanted to quickly introduce you first starting with the lady we have sally who's our migration agent sally is based out of queensland initially used to be uh, at sydney uh, before so i wanted a quick uh, introduction about uh, for sally hi sally how are you and thank you so much for your time uh, today Hello, good afternoon Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Also wanted to introduce to Greg McKean, who's our business migration head, Queensland uh, government over here. Thank you, Greg. Thank you so much for your time coming on Sunday and again today to address all our wonderful uh, people and clients here uh, as well. Thank you, Trishal. Yeah, my pleasure to be here and uh, 
Good afternoon to you all. Thank you. We will shortly go back to Greg in some time where he has a very wonderful presentation that he wanted to take you all through. Also happy to introduce you to Karthike Chauhan, who's our Vice President Investor Relations here in the company based out of uh, Sydney, Australia. Uh, Karthike also handles most of our back-end operations, business plans, and he's one of our, you know, strategic analysts, uh, you know, as well in the company uh, over here. Hi, good afternoon, all. Hi, hi, Karthike. Great. So again, uh, just wanted to once again uh, thank Greg McKean in helping us, you know, set up our first seminar in 2018. 2018, our first seminar in India was in Ahmedabad. And Mr. Greg McKean helped us to help us to organize this seminar. In this seminar, we had a lot of government officials in the government in the Australia. And this was our start, our beginning of Phoenix, in 2018. In 2018-19, we had closed about 5 or 6 nominations close the, in our first year of operations as well, which was a great milestone. In 2019-20, we had about 14-15 nominations close the, and in 2020-21, we are already sitting at 75 plus nominations which approved in our class. Plus, already 100 nominations have gone up, 30 odd nominations in the pipeline. Mein hai. So this is how our company has also grown. It has all grown through our current clients. Our strategic clients, hai, it's all grown because of trust as well. So I thank you for all of you to support us uh, as well You know, for this. Just a little bit about uh, Phoenix uh, as well. Phoenix Business Advisory, which is our company. Many people think that we are a migration company, hai, but we are not a migration company. We are a business advisory company and a business advisory firm. Our business advisory migration is part of our business, but our team is to strategically guide you because our main job is when you come to Australia. Our basically uh, offices in India, mein, uh, Ahmedabad mein hamare teen offices hai, Surat mein hamara office hai, Delhi mein hamara office hai, Bangalore mein hamara naya setup humne start kiya April mein, Pune mein bhi hamara setup hai yaha pe. We also have a big setup in Sydney, Australia as well. A little bit on us, if you would like to know more, aap hume Google kar sakte ho, YouTube pe ja sakte ho. Hamare kafi credibility hai, kafi sare media channels ke saath. CNBC or Kafi channels may Hamare MD, Mr. MD Singh, or the Jo CEO hai, unke Kafi interviews bhi aa chuke hai, Kafi channels pe. I would request you to please browse and go through those channels. Aap wo channels pe Hamare Kafi sare reference clients bhi dekhonge, jinone Hamare bare mein Kafi baat kiya hua hai. We are also listed on Forbes, which is a great, you know, credible listing for us, which we are very proud of uh, as well. So do follow our social media handles. Aapko kafi information bhi aa jayega. Usme Facebook pe, Instagram pe. Please do follow us all uh, as well. So why is Phoenix successful? Phoenix itna, itni tarakki kyu kar rahi hai? Because Phoenix only deals with one country and only one visa. We only deal with Australia. We only deal with one visa in business uh, visa, which is 188 visa, jo A or B hai. Um, iske alawa aur kuch nahi karte hai. And this is our main strengths. Kafi log bolte ki aap ji Canada kyun nahi karte ho, New Zealand kyun nahi karte ho. We don't do, uh, you know, any other country. Our strengths in the company is our people. Hamare jo strengths hai, hamare log hai. Kyunki hum kafi time spend karte hai training and development mein. Hum kafi time spend karte hai education mein as well. Aur hamari jo company hai, kariban 30 se 40 percent ke log connection Australia Either they have studied in Australia, either they have lived in Australia or gone to Australia and come back. And that is the main strength. And we talk to you because we have been there, we have tasted it, we have felt it as well. It is not reading out of any books. So this is our main strength is we do only one country and one visa, which is Australia as well. Our motto is very simple. Our motto is that all our clients get their visa approval. Today, 
हमारा एक भी रेजिग्नेशन या कोई भी रिफ्यूजल नहीं आया हुआ है इन रिगार्ड्स टू वीजास एंड वी आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दैट बिकॉज वी मेक श्योर दैट वी गिव यू स्ट्रेटेजिक गाइडेंस we make sure that you are very compliant as per the government norms in australia as well we make sure we are very transparent when we give you advice as well also in case just in case koi bhi rejection aa gaya to aapke jo pure fees hai hum refund kar dete we refund each and every money of yours because we don't want to take it forward hamara aur aapka jo rishta hai 5 saal ya 6 saal ka rishta hai because we are there all with you and giving you that guidance till you get your pr and if in case there is any rejection आपके जो फीस है फुली रिफंडेबल है हमारा जो दूसरा मोटो है इज दैट वी मेक शो आर क्लाइंट्स डोंट लूज मनी आफ्टर इन्वेस्टिंग इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया आप सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत जो आती है क्लाइंट्स को वीजा मिलने के बाद जब ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाते हैं तो वहां पे बिजनेस स्टार्ट करते हैं जब दूसरे देश में जाते हैं बिजनेस स्टार्ट करते हैं और वहां पे वो अटक जाते हैं क्योंकि वहां पे उनको कोई स्ट्रेटेजिक गाइडेंस नहीं देता उन्होंने बस फैमिली से कुछ सुना होगा फ्रेंड से कुछ सुना होगा ट्राई किया होगा एंड समटाइम्स इट हिट्स बैक यू नो एज वेल सो वी गिव यू वेरी वेरी प्रोफेशनल एडवाइस बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट यू टू सक्सीड एंड मेक मनी एज वेल यू नो इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया विच इज आर मेन गोल ओवर देर सो अप टू टूडे अगेन अ वेरी प्राउड फीलिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस हमारे करीबन सेवेंटी फाइव नॉमिनेशन ऑलरेडी अप्रूव है ये डेटा करीबन दो या तीन दिन पहले की है हाउ एवर फ्रॉम वॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड एज ऑफ टूडे वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रॉस्ड 80 और हमारे 30 नॉमिनेशंस ऑलरेडी फाइल हो चुके हैं और ये जो 30 है ये बिल्कुल अगले दो पिछले दो हफ्ते में हुए हैं एज वेल सो वी आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दैट एंड दिस शोज द ट्रस्ट एंड कमिटमेंट दैट अ लॉट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स आर कमिंग एंड गिविंग अस एज वेल बिकॉज़ दे आर फीलिंग इट और दे आर टॉकिंग टू देयर फ्रेंड्स हु हैव डन इट थ्रू अस एंड दे आर कमिंग एंड लॉजिंग देयर वीजास एज वेल इन इंडिया थ्रू अस एज वेल सो वेरी क्विकली वी विल गो थ्रू द फर्स्ट पोल ऑफ द डे Uh, today, हम आपको एक पोल अनाउंस करेंगे वी हैव मोर देन टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी पीपल टूडे आपको भी मालूम पड़ जाएगा कि लोग क्या कह रहे हैं इसके बारे में सो so, जो पहला पोल है इज वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ बिजनेस यू वुड लाइक टू डू इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया अगर जाओगे तो आप वहां पे क्या बिजनेस करना चाहते हो वुड यू लाइक टू डू अव बिजनेस आप नए बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना चाहोगे कोई नए स्टार्टअप में या नए बिजनेस इनिशली स्टार्ट करना चाहोगे आप एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस एक्विजिशन देखना चाहोगे अगर वहां पे कोई ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस है जो ऑलरेडी पैसा बना रहा है उनके रेप्यूटेशन काफी अच्छा है आप उसके अंदर इन्वेस्ट करना चाहोगे आप ऐसे बिजनेस में इन्वेस्ट करना चाहोगे जो सुटेबल हो वन डबल एट ए वीजा के लिए क्योंकि आपको भी पता है कि पंद्रह महीनों के बाद आपको बिजनेस वीजा टेम्पररी वीजा मिल जाता है जो पांच साल के लिए है और उसमें काफी नॉर्म्स आपको फुलफिल करने होते हैं पी के लिए या ट्रिपल एट वीजा के लिए तो वन डबल एट वीजा के जो सुटेबल नॉर्म्स है आप वो करना चाहते हैं तो मैं अभी ये पोल स्टार्ट करूंगा आई विल ऑल्सो अलाउ आर पैनलिस्ट टू वोट राइट नाउ तो आपके पास बीस सेकेंड है आप प्लीज एक आंसर चूज कीजिए इसमें वी हैव ट्वेंटी सेकेंड प्लीज चूज योर आंसर एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू शेयर दीज रिजल्ट ऑल ऑल्सो विद यू एज वेल we have another 10 seconds to go also while you are voting just to let you know that uh, in some time greg will also be taking you through his presentation about queensland uh, and australia as well he will be talking to you about certain industries wahan ke jo industries flourish ho rahe ho you will also answer many of your questions as well uh, over there so i am ending the poll looks like everyone has uh, voted and Happy to even share the results with all of you right now. आप देखोगे कि आपके स्क्रीन में हमारे जो 270 लोग हैं, 280 लोगों ने वोट किया हुआ है. सबसे ज़्यादा वोट लोगों ने दिया है existing business acquisition. तो हमें ये पता चल जाता है कि हमारे जो businessmen हैं इंडिया में, they are mainly looking at investing in existing businesses ताकि उनको ROIs स्प्रिट वे मिल जाए उनको आर पहले महीने से या दूसरे महीने से आ जाए उनके कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग वहां पे उनके लिए पैसे आ जाए काफी लोग ने आल्सो वोट किया 35 परसेंट हैव सेट दे दे वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लोर एंड लुक एट न्यू बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एज वेल एंड अबाउट 25 परसेंट हैव सेट सुटेबल फॉर वन डबल एट एट वीजा विच यू हैव एज वेल 
तो इट इज अ गुड देर इज नो रूल की ये ही करना है या वो ही करना है हम आपको प्रॉपर गाइडेंस देते हैं इसके बारे में बट इट इज गुड टू नो वॉट पीपल थिंक एज वेल तो हमारा जो बिजनेस स्टैंड पॉइंट के हिसाब से है वी यूजली सजेस्ट टू स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस अराउंड वॉट यू ऑलरेडी हैव बीन डूइंग इन इंडिया एज दीज आर योर स्ट्रेंथ आप इंडिया में जो बिजनेस ऑलरेडी कर रहे हो अगर आप रियल इस्टेट में हो अगर आप माइनिंग में हो अगर आप ट्रैवल एंड टूरिज्म में हो आप इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट में हो तो यूजली हम सजेस्ट करते हैं कि आप सिमिलर बिजनेस वहां पे स्टार्ट कीजिए क्योंकि ये सारा आपका स्ट्रेंथ है फीनिक्स में हम आपको हेल्प कैसे करते हैं एट फीनिक्स वी हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई द राइट बिजनेस क्योंकि ये जो है आपके जो बिजनेस प्लान है हमें बनाना पड़ रहा है आपके जो बिजनेस प्लान ईओ के साथ सबमिट होता है और इसके साथ हम आपको स्ट्रेटेजिक गाइडेंस देते हैं कि आप वहां पे क्या बिजनेस वहां पे स्टार्ट करते हैं हम यूजली हमारे जो सारे क्लाइंट्स हैं हम उनको एडवाइस करते हैं कि 15 महीनों के बाद जब उनको बिजनेस वीजा मिल जाता है उनके फैमिली के साथ आप प्लीज ऑस्ट्रेलिया आ जाइए हमारी जो टीम है वहां पे ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आपको गाइडेंस देंगे वो एयरपोर्ट आके आपको पिकअप करके मिलेंगे वहां पे जाके वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आपको सारे बिजनेसेस के ऑप्शन दिखाएंगे आप फिजिकली जाके ये बिजनेसेस देख सकते हो कि आपको कैसा करना है क्या करना है ये बिजनेसेस कैसे चल रहे हैं उनके आर कैसे हैं पास्ट में फ्यूचर प्रोजेक्शंस कैसे हैं स्टाफ कैसे हैं और फिर आप डिसाइड कीजिए आपको इंडिया में बैठ के डिसाइड नहीं करना है आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया आओगे हमारे साथ और हम आपको वहां पे फिजिकली दिखाएंगे आप फिर डिसाइड कीजिए और उसके बाद आप अपने इन्वेस्टमेंट स्टार्ट कर, कर, कर सकते हो इस वेल क्योंकि इन्वेस्टमेंट्स करने के लिए आपके पास थोड़ा सा टाइम और वक्त भी मिल जाता है सो इट इज नॉट कि आपको स्ट्रेट अवे करना होता है तो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस इसके बाद हम जरा एक और क्वेश्चन uh, पे जाएंगे हमारा एक और पोल है एज वेल तो लेट सी दूसरा पोल क्या है ग्रेट सो दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोल टू By when you are looking to migrate to Australia, आप Australia कभी जाना चाहते हो आप Australia अभी जाना चाहते हो ए एस ए पी नो मैटर वॉट यू कैन ऑलवेज रीच आउट टू अस एंड वी वी कैन लेट यू नो दैट इज पॉसिबल और नो आई एम नॉट श्योर इट इज पॉसिबल बट वुड यू लाइक टू गो टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया ए एस ए पी आप छह से बारह महीनों में जाना चाहते हो या बारह से अठारह महीनों में जाना चाहते हो एज वेल सो आई विल जस्ट लॉन्च द न्यू पोल right now by when you are looking to migrate to australia to aapke screen mein wapas aa chuka hai 20 second ke liye aap please vote dijiye apna ki aap australia kab migrate karna chahte ho also jaise hi aap polls pe vote kar rahe ho just to let you know आज क्वींसलैंड गवर्नमेंट के जो ऑफिशियल्स आए हुए हैं हमारे साथ है आप बिल्कुल टाइम वेस्ट ना कीजिए आपका जो इनिशियल असेसमेंट है या इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट है इन्हीं के पास जाना है और इन्हीं को अप्रूव करना है आपका फाइल ग्रेट सो आई हैव सीन दैट एवरीवन हैज एंडेड देयर वोट्स एंड हैप्पी टू शेयर दो रिजल्ट विद यू आपके स्क्रीन के सामने so looks like 47% of the people said 12 to 18 months which is the correct timeline of getting your visa uh, as well over here from india around uh, 36% or 84 people to 12 months so kafi log ko kafi jaldi jana hai wahan pe and almost 41% said they want to go asap asap so almost 41% लोगों ने कहा है कि उनको ऑस्ट्रेलिया अगर कल टिकट मिल जाएगी तो हम कल चले जाएंगे एज वेल वेरी गुड तो जस्ट शेयरिंग दीज रिजल्ट्स यू नो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एज वेल ग्रेग मकीन जी अभी आएंगे थोड़ा प्रेजेंटेशन देने के लिए क्वींसलैंड के बारे में लेकिन इससे पहले आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू अनाउंस अ स्पेशल ऑफर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू थ्री प्लस पीपल हु आर अटेंडिंग टूडे आज हम एक स्पेशल ऑफर अनाउंस कर रहे हैं ग्रेग मकीन को वापस प्रेजेंटेशन देने से पहले कि आज सारे जो लोग हैं वेबिनार के लिए और जो लोगों ने वेबिनार में रजिस्टर किया हुआ है हम इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट का जो फीस चार्ज करते हैं आपको स्टार्टिंग में हम उसी फीस के साथ आपकी जो एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट है या ईओआई है 
हम वो उसके साथ फाइल करेंगे तो जस्ट टू लेट ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट यूजली वी चार्ज अ सर्टन फी बिफोर वी कमेंस एनी वर्क एंड बिफोर वी फाइल योर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट there is a business contract and there is a certain uh, installment which is due prior to filing your expression of interest however for all of you today who have attended this webinar and all our people who have registered for the webinar this offer is only for you today where in the initial assessment fee we are also going to include your expression of interest or eoi uh, as well so aapka jo eoi hai उसी में हम इंक्लूड कर देंगे आपका जो फी है इसमें सो डोंट मिस आउट ऑन दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ये प्रेजेंटेशन वेबिनार के बाद यू कैन प्लीज रीच आउट टू अस और रीच आउट टू आर टीम्स इफ यू वुड लाइक टू अवेल ऑफ दिस ऑफर एज वेल थैंक यू सो मच आई वुड नाउ लाइक ग्रेग टू टेक दिस प्रेजेंटेशन फॉरवर्ड कीर्तन इफ यू कैन जस्ट I can go to the next slide. Just a second. Uh, Kirtan, can you go to the next slide, please? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not being able to go to the next slide. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> okay, Greg, I've got rights now. Over to you, Greg. Okay. Thank you, Trishal. Great to be uh, here uh, in Brisbane, but uh, talking to you across India today. Uh, I can see the polls you've done um, uh, very enlightening, and as you quite correctly said, 12 to 18 months is the is the probable time for uh, an visa outcome at this stage. And uh, I know the Home Affairs Department are trying to put um, a lot of effort into getting that time frame down as well. So uh, hopefully, uh, in the next 12 months, we'll see that happen quicker. Yeah. Um, Great news. And I guess the other other poll, the first one, uh, not surprising to be honest. Um, I think uh, for people who are good at business, they understand what they're good at. Uh, they also understand, uh, I think, a little bit about Australia, and and obviously it's a modern economy uh, and uh, the existing business that they have in India. It might not be quite the same here. Uh, but oftentimes uh, they can find a complementary type business that uh, can be one that uh, assists uh, their also their their um, their business in India. So uh, very interesting poll. So glad you shared you. that with us all. Thank you. Uh, so can we get rid of that poll for the moment? Yeah. Good. Okay. So hello everyone. My name is Greg McKean. I'm the manager of business and skilled migration Queensland. Uh, part of the Queensland government here. Uh, I'm sitting in my Queensland government uh, headquarters in Brisbane, our capital city. Uh, great to be with you uh, across India. As I said, um, our hearts go out to to all of you in India at the moment for uh, the pandemic that uh, is there. And uh, you know, it, uh, we're very hopeful that it'll come under control soon. Um, I guess. I sit here in Brisbane, where we're uh, relatively COVID-free, um, and that's a great position to be in. Uh, I guess we're very lucky being an island nation that we have a, a natural border uh, that's helped us very well. So, um, anyway, uh, I guess what the next sort of half an hour or so will be about uh, what you can do here, uh, what your visa options are. Uh, and I guess what my organisation can do to help you through that process. So, Business and Skill Migration Queensland. It is the state government body which does the nomination for all business visas uh, to the Commonwealth government, and also for skilled visas as well for the state nominated 190 and 491 regional visa. A quick snapshot about our economy. Uh, rebounding very well uh, obviously during the height of the covid 
lockdowns we had here uh, roughly a year ago. Uh, Australia's economy had sort of dipped under 2%. Um, we've just had the local uh, Commonwealth budget handed down here in Australia uh, just a, a few weeks ago. And now the forecast growth for Australia over the next 24 months is around 4.75%. Uh, so in terms of a, uh, and a developed country um, and uh, are responding economically very well to the COVID uh, crisis, uh, Australia is doing very well. Uh, and I'm glad to say Queensland is uh, one of Australia, well, is Australia's largest exporter of a lot of our main products that we, that we sell internationally. Uh, <clears throat> individually, we're a very, very, very big economy in the uh, South Asia region, South, Southeast Asia region, uh, roughly around $350 billion of gross state product annually. Uh, and uh, we have, Australia is, is a very decentralized uh, um, uh, country, uh, but Queensland is the most decentralized. So where Sydney and Melbourne, they are by far the largest city centers in the states of New South Wales and Victoria. Uh, Queensland has a much more diverse uh, population spread out across our state. Uh, and that's because we have a very diverse economy uh, with mining, with agriculture, uh, with tourism, uh, of course, manufacturing uh, and defense industries as well. Uh, another point for Queensland is that we have six international airports by which both uh, people and freight can enter and leave Australia, right? So, uh, you know, that makes us very unique. All the rest of the states in Australia only have one airport uh, and one place that you can actually move into Australia or leave Australia. Uh, Queensland has six, uh, and that's primarily because our tourism industry is well advanced um, and also our export industries as well. You can see our main industries there food and agribusiness, mining and resources, tourism, uh, international education, health and knowledge industries, and urban and development infrastructure. Uh, very diverse. Uh, most of the other states in Australia, uh, they will have one or two major industries, um, but because of the size of our state, the natural resources that we have, uh, and of course the way, I guess, government and industry has worked well to develop those, uh, it's, uh, it's certainly makes our state a very enviable one uh, for you to invest in. And it just doesn't have to be in a capital city. It can actually be right across our regional Queensland area. You can see our food and agribusiness industries. Uh, we are the largest uh, beef provider. So we have 50% of Australia's cattle herd in Queensland. We grow 30% of Australia's horticulture in Queensland. Uh, you can see the products there, meat and livestock, fruit and vegetables, grains, cereals, sugar products, uh, and of course, uh, surrounded by the wonderful waters of the Great Barrier Reef, we have amazingly diverse and fresh seafood, which uh, I'm sure you'd all love to have one day. Uh, our mining industry, we are the largest uh, miner uh, in Australia as well. Uh, we are the second in the world for seaborne coal exports, second also for lead production, third for zinc, fifth in the world for silver production. Uh, so a very diverse and a very extensive mining industry in Queensland itself. Uh, but the government here has a commitment to also invest in renewable energy for our state. So by 2030, uh, the government aims to have 50% of Queensland's electricity uh, supplied by renewable energy. So uh, we're doing our best for uh, the climate change uh, and uh, the environment. We also have had large investments and many of our uh, major business migrants have invested in things like a solar farm, right? So we've got uh, approximately three migrants that have actually built, invested, and now enjoying the, the returns of a solar farm here in Queensland. Uh, hydrogen is another 
industry that we are developing here in Queensland very quickly. Uh, we have a lot of natural produce that uh, the hydrogen will be able to be used in. Uh, and so we're looking to develop that as well. So great opportunities, I think, for business migrants uh, in the, uh, in the, especially in the renewable energy area here in Australia. Tourism, Queensland is known as Australia's tourism capital. Uh, when, when we normally have normal uh, international travel and travel internally here, 26 million visitors last year to Queensland alone. So that's the whole population of Australia uh, visited our tourist sites here in Queensland. Uh, worth a significant amount to our internal revenue, so 28 billion in revenue to the state, uh, employs almost a quarter of a million people here, uh, and uh, with the amount of investment that is currently going into renovating, upgrading, and increasing our tourism assets, uh, that number of um, uh, employment opportunities will grow significantly as well. Uh, and of course, we, we have such wonderful World Heritage listed assets here in Queensland, the world renowned Great Barrier Reef, uh, also uh, the wet tropics up in the north of our, our state near Cairns uh, is, uh, is, is, is places that people from all around the world regularly come uh, to see the pristine beauty of these particular places. Our international education sector We have 10 universities here in Queensland, um, dotted all the way through the state. You can see uh, a map of Queensland there. Um, our main university is, of course, in the capital city in Brisbane. The University of Queensland uh, is now in the top 50 universities in the world. I think it sits at about number 35. And our other two universities here in Brisbane, the university, uh, <laughs> the Queensland University of Technology uh, and also the Griffith University sit in the top 100 to 200. So uh, you can get a world-class uh, tertiary education here uh, in the southeast. And of course, we have other universities dotted around the state which have particular um, special uh, activities and special specialities taught in them. Obviously, up in the north, Townsville, Cairns, uh, the tropic area, so tropical health, tropical um, uh, medicines and, uh, and, and, that, and the like are, are done up there. Uh, you have Brockhampton, uh, major beef capital of Australia. So uh, genetics in the beef area is a big, big study in that area there. Uh, Harvey Bay, Sunshine Coast, uh, major horticultural area. So a big agricultural colleges are in these areas as well. Uh, and uh, down in the Gold Coast, right down the bottom there, uh, the uh, Bond University is Australia's uh, first private university uh, in, uh, in Australia itself. Our health and knowledge industries, um, obviously being event an advanced economy, Australia is uh, leading the world in a number of areas of research and health and knowledge industries. Um, we're certainly doing our, our bit in terms of the pandemic uh, the research facilities here at our universities uh, have been doing, uh, contributing to a number of the vaccines uh, that are available internationally now. Uh, we have the Gold Coast Health and Knowledge Precinct, which is a new area in Australia where uh, there's uh, facilities that have been set up specifically to attract health and knowledge industries to our state uh, for research and development, uh, product development and commercialization. And you can see some of the uh, areas that we wish to specialize in and do specialize in now, pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, uh, e-health, very big for a diverse place like Queensland. Uh, many of our health centers here in Queensland now, especially in our remote rural areas are all done by e-health. So we're developing great technology related to that. Um, and of course, uh, patient technology itself uh, and especially sports, sports technology. Um, some of the areas that we're looking for investment in, uh, design and manufacture, 3D bioprinting uh, technology, we're looking at big data and analytics, uh, artificial intelligence and robotics, uh, and of course, uh, supporting facilities, health, uh, co-working spaces. And child and aged care is a very big industry here in Australia. Uh, 
and it's certainly an industry that's leading in the world and we're doing a lot of great service provision to other parts of Asia and Southeast Asia in, in this particular area. Okay, just looking, that's a, that's a view of Brisbane uh, City. I'm actually looking out at it here myself right now. Uh, you can see we have the obligatory wheel in one of our uh, tourist and cultural centers down on the bottom of your screen there. Uh, the city itself, uh, it's certainly growing. That uh, my building is actually the one just beside my head right there now. So that's the, the government building that I'm sitting in. Uh, we have a wonderful view uh, out to the west uh, and a wonderful view of the city itself. Okay. Now there's been massive amounts of private and public uh, investment going into Brisbane currently. Uh, we have major projects that have been going on for a couple of years now, i.e. the building that I'm sitting in here. Uh, it's only about two years old. Um, so that started in about 2015 as one of the big major changes of our city. Uh, we're having a live um, stage built in the city itself uh, for major international acts to provide entertainment to the, to the local community here. Uh, we have the Queen's Wharf precinct, which my building is in. Uh, $3.6 billion worth of investment over uh, the 12 to 18 months that the, uh, to finish the actual precinct itself. Uh, the building, which I'll go in a little bit further later, new casino is in front there. Um, that's coming up literally about the, at the height of my office right now. So well and truly um, that precinct is just about done. Uh, Cross River Rail, we're putting in uh, major electric rail, uh, quick electric rail to get around the city. Uh, so we're trying to reduce the amount of traffic in the city itself. And, uh, and that will be online in the next two years. Um, and then there's, there's many other projects which you can see there that are currently underway. So we'll go to the next one. Uh, Brisbane's a river city. Uh, our river, the Brisbane River snakes through the city itself uh, out to the, the Moreton Bay area where we have uh, some tourist islands very close to, to where we are. Um, so a lot of the city is structured around our river. Um, uh, so Basically, when, when all of the construction that's being done on the river is finished, finalised, uh, you'll be able to walk literally from, I guess, the mouth of the Brisbane River uh, all the way around about 40 kilometres of, uh, of, um, of river laneways uh, to the University of Queensland itself. So uh, that'll be a major tourist attraction uh, across, those, uh, across that walkway. It's also a cycleway. And dotted through there will be restaurants, uh, tourist entertainment areas, etc. So uh, the city is going through some considerable upgrade at the moment, uh, and I'm sure once the international flights start happening, uh, I'd love to welcome you uh, to our capital city here uh, and show you around uh, the Brisbane. You'll be quite amazed at what a modern city it will be by then. So here's what I was talking about, the Queen's Wharf project. As again, my building is on that right-hand side there. Uh, the building, the round small building at the front, that's the new Brisbane Casino. Uh, and behind it are two six-star international uh, hotel and apartment uh, uh, buildings. All in all, uh, at the moment, that uh, whole construction is about half completed. Um, so uh, uh, it'll be quite uh, a brand new, uh, lively place for uh, for you to come um, uh, with your families and, and also with your, your business associates that come to Brisbane. Uh, I think you'll be very impressed in about 12 months time when that project is finished. Okay, um, will you now move on to uh, the business, uh, an overview of our business program. First of all, it's actually quite a, uh, a timely uh, phase to be looking at migration to Australia. The Commonwealth Government uh, is planning uh, some significant change to the business innovation program starting on the 1st of July this year. Uh, the, the nine visa streams currently in the business program will be reduced to four. Uh, so the remaining ones will be the business innovation, uh, 
uh, investing in a business, the entrepreneur visa, the investor visa and the significant investor visa. Uh, a number of visas uh, will uh, then be uh, abolished. So uh, the permanent visas that you could have applied for beforehand now are gone. All of the remaining visas are provisional uh, five year visas, uh, but you can gain PR across the business range after three years, provided you've met certain requirements. Okay, so uh, the major change for the business innovation is uh, now a, an increase uh, in the net assets uh, that you must transfer to Australia uh, and to Queensland. That's 1.25 million for the business innovation program, the 188A. Uh, up from 800,000, but that figure has been in place since about 2012. So uh, surely a timely upgrade to that investment amount. And you also must have in your own business uh, and then eventually uh, a turnover of 750,000 Australian dollars up from uh, 500,000 uh, itself. So uh, <coughs> we haven't quite uh, got our uh, Queensland criteria uh, sorted as yet. We're going through the process of that approvals right now. My suggestion to you will be of the 1.25 million uh, in Queensland, we'll be looking for around uh, 500,000 to go into a business here in Queensland and the remainder can go into other investments as you see fit, including obviously purchasing a house if you have a family coming along. Um, and uh, the entrepreneur visa, we're still looking at how we will uh, in uh, how we will look at the uh, uh, the requirements for that. So that one, I can't tell too much about it right now. So next one. Great. So uh, if, with your permission, Greg, if I can just uh, emphasize on this slide to our uh, people here today in uh, Hindi, because it's a very important uh, you know slide for all of them. So mm -hmm. uh, yes, slide is uh, important for everyone. So, you have to tell us that the पिछले regime था जो ढाई करोड़ का turnover हमें दिखाना था qualification के लिए Australia government Australia जो है is one of the only countries जो आपके business credibility और आपके turnover credibility के हिसाब से पंद्रह महीनों में आपको visa grant दे देते हैं पांच साल के लिए तो ये जो पहले था 2012 से चल रहा था पुराना regime अभी जो नया regime है July से start होने वाला है क्योंकि उनका rear ending है June July जैसे हमारा April March है तो ढाई करोड़ से वो करीबन साढ़े तीन से चार करोड़ तक बढ़ने वाला है आ, उनके जो एसेट्स है जो नेटवर्थ है पहले जो चार करोड़ था अभी सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सी तक बढ़ने वाला है फ्रॉम अ क्वालिफिकेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल पिछले बार जो चार महीने और चार साल और तीन महीने का जो आपको वीजा मिल रहा था अभी आपको पांच साल का मिल रहा है जो अच्छा है बढ़िया है एज वेल ऑल्सो आप पी के लिए तीन साल में अप्लाई कर सकते हैं और परमानेंट रेजिडेंसी विद इन दैट फाइव इयर्स एज वेल इसमें एक्सटेंशन भी अलाउड है इसमें तो दिस इज व्हाट आई जस्ट वांटेड टू कवर एज वेल थैंक यू ग्रेट ओवर टू यू नो प्रॉब्लम सो यस सो आई थिंक दिस विल बी द मेन वीजा फॉर ऑल ऑफ द स्टेट्स एंड टेरिटरीज गोइंग फॉरवर्ड एंड सो यस प्लीज एंगेज विथ with Phoenix uh, and uh, and you'll be able to understand more of the framework of how that's coming together uh, on 1 July. Uh, the other changes coming up are for the investor visa as well. Uh, previously, the investor stream uh, was 1.5 million invested. That's now being increased to 2.5 million. Uh, the significant investor stream will stay at 5 million. The main change as well for the investor visa is it will now have the same complying investment framework as the significant investor visa. So previously you invested the 1.5 into state uh, government bonds. Now it will actually be the same as the significant investor visa uh, with a complying investment framework. Uh, the only change to that complying in investment framework is that venture capital now will increase from 10% up to 20% uh, and the 30% will be uh, kept the same for the emerging companies fund uh, and then for the balancing fund that's going to be reduced 10% uh, 
uh, down to 50%. So uh, I guess those two visas, the investor visa and the significant investor visa, uh, there's going to be uh, more uh, uh, investment go into the venture capital into that early stage uh, um, uh, development of businesses here in Australia. Uh, we support that change. Uh, we see it as a great opportunity for uh, our innovation to come mainly from you, you know, come from India as well. I'm sure there's lots of innovative uh, uh, products and services and people uh, who can take advantage of uh, this new investor framework into the, uh, into the uh, venture capital area. Next slide, please. So uh, just uh, sorry to interrupt you again. It's, no, it's fine. Uh, just Anytime. to let the audience know that unka jo dusra visa subclass hai, jo investor stream jo visa hai, pichle jo sade saat crore ka apko wahan pe investment karna tha, abhi wo sade bara crore ho gaya hai, sade saat crore ka. Ab agar assets aap India mein high dikha sakte ho, aur lekin apke jo turnovers low hai, to aap ye visa stream pe aa sakte ho. The good part is, पिछले बारी हमें bonds में डालना था ये पैसा, उसमें lock in था चार साल और तीन महीने के लिए। अभी जो है, आप ये पैसा जो है, multiple venture capital funds और private equity funds में आप डालोगे। हमारी जो team है Australia में, वो आपको guidance देंगे कि आप कौन से funds में डाल सकते, ताकि आपके returns returns भी high रहे uh, as well। और फिर वो पैसा वैसे भी आपको वापस आना है uh, पांच साल के अंदर as well. The only other addition that Queensland might add to the investor visa is uh, also a, a local investment requirement, maybe 500,000 uh, to uh, support uh, another investment here in Queensland or support uh, local living arrangements. Um, so uh, I just bear that in mind. So the, the total investment for the investor visa, 188B, could be around about $3 million or up. Next slide, please. Uh, I, I put these slides up because I just wanted to give you an idea of how important the business program is to uh, a state like Queensland. Uh, you can see uh, in the year 1920, 2019 to 20, uh, our quota was 670 business visas that the Commonwealth gave us to give out that year. Uh, and those 670 will generate roughly $1.4 billion worth of investment into the state uh, over the next sort of 12 to 24 months. Obviously COVID is going to play a bit of a, uh, a bit of a problem with that, uh, but eventually for people who can follow through with their visa, that's what we're looking at. Um, Queensland has grown so significantly in popularity uh, that this year our quota was increased to 1,400. Uh, now we're the second largest state after uh, after New South Wales, um, and uh, we have filled that 1,400 this year. Uh, so we expect that the total investment amount coming into Queensland will be about 2.5 billion dollars from the program that we run in 2021. Next slide, please. Um, I get often asked, what do we invest in? In, in, in Australia. Well, here's what the uh, the, one, the former 132 permanent visa and the 18A uh, innovation visa invested in uh, this year. Um, so you can see the major one there is wholesale. Uh, so this is where um, migrants have uh, a supply chain in their own country uh, that uh, and predominantly it's it's agribusiness type product. Uh, they're buying the agribusiness type product as a wholesaler and shipping it to uh, their own supply chain internationally. So uh, very popular one, uh, one that we encourage here as well. Obviously it helps our local producers uh, to export their product uh, and the exported product is, uh, is a premium value as well. So we thoroughly support that one. Um, retail is another biggest, the next biggest one after that, uh, construction. Uh, manufacturing is growing considerably. So if you'd have come, say, two or three years ago, manufacturing might have been about 1% uh, of what our migrants did, did here in Queensland. That's growing now up to 7%. Uh, so a lot of manufacturing, especially in the robotics area uh, for agribusiness, uh, Australia leads the world in that type of technology. Uh, and so uh, we're seeing that being exported uh, to other 
uh, countries where agriculture is grown as well. Uh, as I said before, our, our tourism industry is very large, so uh, a number of migrants go into uh, providing services to the accommodation and food service and the tourism industries, uh, very popular. Um, so uh, yeah, a very diverse range of um, industries that people go into. Oftentimes, as you've uh, uh, alluded to uh, earlier, Trishal, uh, people look at what they've done in their own country uh, yeah. and they see what they can replicate here in Australia. So uh, we encourage that. Uh, if, you're, if you've been successful doing one thing, uh, you're probably going to be successful doing it here as well. Great. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, you can see at the moment, um, India, right? Is, is doesn't feature that much, unfortunately, in in our program, and and uh, of course that's why I was so thrilled to be asked by Phoenix to be a part of this because uh, we see it uh, as a growth market for for Queensland and for Australia. Um, we see the uh, you know we, we know it's there's a lot of advanced uh, economies. Um, and uh, advanced sort of business providers, service providers, manufacturers, etc., in India itself, um, and uh, we'd love to see uh, these professional uh, business entrepreneurs come and uh, and live and reside and do something here in Australia, and of course uh, provide that sort of natural trading opportunity between Australia and India itself. So. Uh, that's our that's our goal. I would like to think yeah. that, you know, in the next uh, year or so, we could uh, we could double or maybe even up to you know eight percent, eight to ten percent, uh, yeah. and get India uh, really focused up there. So, we'll be working closely with uh, with Trisal and and his organisation to to try and do that. But having said that, you can see the other countries. China is obviously is our biggest uh, um, migrant nation at this stage over 50%. Um, the good thing is about five years ago, that was around about 80%. Uh, so we've grown uh, other markets very considerably. Uh, and so we're getting quite a diverse range of business migrants coming in, which of course is what we're after. Um, Southeast Asia features heavily Hong Kong, uh, South Africa, um, the other China's Hong Kong and Taiwan. Uh, the Middle East is, is growing significantly as well. Uh, and um, I include that you can see Pakistan uh, has has come from from a relatively small amount uh, in, in well probably non-existent a couple of years ago uh, is starting to feature in our business program as well Bangladesh Sri Lanka uh, so the South East, South Asia itself uh, offers great opportunity for us here uh, and we'll be working with uh, with uh, providers in all those countries to, to keep that growth going. Great. So a lot of uh, people, Greg, what we realized in the last couple of years in India was they were not aware that they qualify for business migration, you know, to mm -hmm. Australia. Uh, yep. This was something new that has just been, you know, introduced or people have known about through friends or family or people who have just settled down, you know, in Australia uh, as well. So this trend we have started seeing now in the last, you know, couple of years changing. And it shows in our numbers itself that has jumped, you know, three folds or four folds uh, as well. So it's just about, you know, creating a lot of awareness here in the country uh, for Australia. And also, you know, thankful to, you know, yourself to come and be that, you know, uh, uh, ambassador, you know, for the country and for us to go back and talk to our friends and family, you know, about what we saw, what statistics are. And I'm yeah. surely confident, you know, that two is going to be 20 in the next, uh, you know, two, three years uh, from now while spreading awareness. I do. I, I thoroughly believe that myself, Trishal. And uh, yeah, for our skill program, India is already the biggest by a long way, right? So oh, okay. uh, in uh, our skill program, I would think India would represent around 35 to 40% uh, of, of the program. So, uh, you know, very important. Uh, uh, program for us, um, the, the and because of that, our Indian community is growing significantly up here, um, and yeah. uh, so as I said before, I look forward to the day when all the borders open more uh, and uh, and we can have 
uh, people from from India coming in uh, to visit Queensland, to visit Australia, uh, yeah. and just see what have we have on offer here. Thank and you. that concludes my, my formal presentation. Uh, so thank you everyone for uh, for listening and hope it's been a bit informative for you and uh, certainly happy to answer questions when, when they come about. Yeah, sure. So we will take uh, questions towards the end, but uh, thank you so much, Greg, for giving us, uh, you know, those specific insights, especially into the industries, which I found very informative because a lot of people keep asking us you know, one question that what will they go there and do? What are the flourishing industries as well? Um, sab ke ek hi, you know, question rehte hai ki main Australia ja ke kya kar sakta ho? Wahan pe industries kaise chal rahe? Kaun se industries unke top five, top ten industries hai? Jahan pe main dekh sakta ho wahan pe start karne ke liye. So ye presentation kafi interesting tha aur kafi important tha kyunki jo nayi regime ke jo facts hai, one double eight A or one double eight B ke jo naye norms abhi start hone wale hai. It is quite informative. Uh, you know, as well for all of us. And me or Hamari Jo team hai pe, we are more than helpful to guide you and take you through that, uh, you know, uh, entire process as well. So thanks once again, uh, Greg, uh, for that wonderful uh, presentation uh, as well. Yeah. Also taking you through some uh, important facts. This data might be, you know, a year old uh, as well. Hamne uh, kuch facts nikhale to understand ki Australia mein Unke jo maximum jo migrants hai, uh, you know, kaha ye sare jo millionaires hai in the whole world kaha ja rahe hai. You will be very surprised to know ki Australia has already overtaken the US and Canada into being one of the number one destination in the world for business migrants. India ka bhi awareness shuru ho rahe. People are starting to get aware about Australia, its culture, the people, the education system, the businesses as well. Lekin kafi desho ne, kafi log apne dekha tha wo slide se ki kafi log already ja rahe hain pe. And right now it is the number one destination of the world uh, for business migration as well, which is a great pride, uh, you know, to have uh, as well. Australia mein kafi reasons hai, jo log wahan pe relocate uh, kar rahe hain pe. Jaise Greg ne bataya tha, unki economy kafi robust hai. Wahan pe 30 saal se kabhi uh, wahan pe koi problem economy mein hua nahi tha. I have already seen that there are many millionaires who are migrating. There are many growth opportunities in business and you get access to permanent residency in the system. You get access to loans in the system. Just to give you an example, the interest rate for housing loan is about 1.7-1.8% of the interest rate. So many people are investing in real estate in India uh, as well. Unka quality of life kafi badia hai maape. Uh, the air, what you breathe over there is very fresh, uh, you know, uh, as well. Unka kafi strong medical facilities hai, healthcare system hai. Aap jaise permanent residency ke liye eligible ho jate ho, aapke pure family ko maape free medical healthcare mil jata hai, uh, which is a great thing to have. Kyuki government ne ye responsibility li hui hai. कि हमारे जो रेजिडेंट्स है हमारे जो सिटीजंस है हम सबके मेडिकल्स हम स्पॉन्सर uh, करेंगे वहां पे एज uh, वेल well. उनकी एजुकेशन सिस्टम काफी स्ट्रांग है एज वेल ऑस्ट्रेलिया में काफी सारे बेस्ट जो यूनिवर्सिटीज है वहां पे ऑस्ट्रेलिया में है काफी स्टूडेंट्स जा रहे हैं वहां पे कुछ ही सालों में लास्ट 5 6 इयर्स उनकी एजुकेशन के जो नंबर्स है काफी इंक्रीज भी हो चुके हैं वहां पे फ्रॉम एन एजुकेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू I am here today as a live example. I went to Australia about 10-15 years ago to study at the age of 19. I had gone to uh, Sydney and I studied there uh, you know, myself. Uh, the education system is phenomenal. You know, If I compare it uh, also to India, which has also gone up a pretty good uh, you know, way in the last uh, 10 years as well. I saw that the education system is quite similar you know, uh, to India. So for your kids, to get into the system, it is not uh, very difficult. Uh, the good thing in India is that in most of our schools, colleges, about you know 99% of them, English is a mandatory language. So it is also spoken over there and conducted over there. Unka jo system is kafi similar hai. Waha pe kafi practical knowledge hai. Uh, 19 or 20 saal ke age mein waha pe main business plans bana raha tha waha pe. So wo kafi aapko guide karte hai waha pe. Uh, kafi unka system kafi badia hai waha pe. 
एजुकेशन सिस्टम काफी वहां पे टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज भी है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में क्वींसलैंड uh, के बारे में अगर मैं बताना चाहता हूँ उन्होंने ऑलरेडी आपको काफी चीजें बताए क्वींसलैंड के बारे में लेकिन वहां पे जस्ट स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट्स कवर करने के लिए वहां पे कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग आप मेलबर्न या सिडनी से कंपेयर करोगे सो इट इज मच लोअर एज वेल सो इट इज अ गुड प्लेस टू बी उनका जो क्लाइमेट है वेरी सिमिलर टू इंडिया एज वेल फ्रॉम अमिडिटी पॉइंट फ्रॉम यू नो हॉट और कोल्ड पॉइंट इट डज नॉट गेट यू नो फ्रीजिंग कोल्ड ओवर देर वहां पे ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस है और वहां पे जो पेरोल और टैक्स रेट है काफी लो है कम्पेयर टू दी अदर स्टेट एज वेल क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ जैसे मैंने बताया था वहां पे गोल्ड कोस्ट में या ब्रिस्बिन में हो वहां पे काफी बढ़िया है वहां पे जो एवरेज सैलरी है इनकम है फॉर एन एवरेज पर्सन इज क्लोज टू फाइव थाउजेंड टू फाइव एंड हाफ थाउजेंड डॉलर तो मतलब दो से तीन लाख उनका एवरेज सैलरी है मंथली इनकम उससे भी ज्यादा हो जाता है क्योंकि जब मैं वहां पे था तो काफी लोग उससे ज्यादा भी कमा रहे थे वहां पे सो इट इज अ गुड यू नो वे टू अर्न अ लिविंग ऑल्सो ओवर है आपको वहां वहां पे काफी मल्टी कल्चरलिटी दिखेगा देर आर पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ यू विल सी लॉर्ड ऑफ एशियंस लॉर्ड ऑफ बुद्धिस्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ इंडियंस यू नो ओवर देर एंड एवरी वन यू नो हैज देर ओन रिलीजियस प्लेसेस फॉर वर्शिप उनके मार्केट्स है वहां पे सो यू फिट इन वेरी इजिली यू नो एज वेल देर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया द लोकल्स देर आर वेरी हैप्पी दे आर वेरी फ्रेंडली यू नो एज वेल आई हैड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मेट्स यू नो बैक देन यू नो इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज वेल दे आर मोर देन हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू यू नो वेर एवर यू नीड और एनी हेल्प और असिस्टेंस दैट यू नीड यू नो एज वेल सिमिलरली फॉर ब्रिस्बिन जैसे मैंने कहा था जो हब है वहां पे क्वींसलैंड का काफी सिमिलैरिटीज है थोड़ा सा बड़ा शहर है तो उनके जो कैफेज है रेस्टोरेंट्स है वो काफी टूरिज्म के ऊपर चलते हैं वहां पे उनके काफी नेशनल पार्क्स है वहां पे सिमिलर कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग भी है वहां पे ब्रिस्बिन में और आपको अगर ज्यादा इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्निकल लगेगा तो वी आर मोर देन हेल्प यू नो हैपी टू हेल्प यू विद पोस्ट दी इनिशियल असेसमेंट एज वेल हमारी जो बिजनेस माइग्रेशन का प्रोग्राम है जो वन डबल एट का वीजा स्ट्रीम है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट ये स्लाइड है क्योंकि यहाँ पे आपके लिए जब आपको अपना वीजा मिल जाएगा तो आपका जो ट्रैवल बैन एग्जामेशन मिल जाता है तो जैसे ही आपको वीजा मिल जाता है काफी लोगों ने मेरे को पूछा था ड्यू थ्रू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर और कुछ मीटिंग जब मैंने कर किया था उनके साथ तो वो मेरे को पूछ रहे थे कि वहां पे बॉर्डर्स कब खुलेंगे हम कब जा पाएंगे वहां पे तो आपका आंसर आपके सामने है जैसे ही आपका वीजा आ जाएगा आप फ्लाइट पकड़ के आ सकते हो वहां पे फैमिली के साथ एज वेल तो ये जो ट्रैवल बैन है आपके लिए एग्जाम किया हुआ है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया ने विच इज अ ग्रेट थिंग उन्होंने अपना कोटा भी इंक्रीज किया है जैसे आप देख रहे हैं कि हमारे साथ वो आज है वेबिनार पे वो हमें काफी प्रेफरेंसेस भी दे रहे हैं यहाँ पे कि हमारे लोग जो है इंडिया से अगर आ रहे तो हम पर्सनली उनके फाइल्स देखेंगे और उनको अप्रूव करेंगे अगर वो जो नॉर्म्स मीट कर रहे हैं वहां पे एज वेल आपकी जो फाइल है वो प्रायोरिटी पे देख रहे जो वन डबल एट वीजा स्ट्रीम है वो प्रायोरिटी पे देख रहे कम्पेयर टू मोस्ट ऑफ दी अदर वीजा स्ट्रीम्स क्योंकि आप वहां पे इन फ्यूचर इन्वेस्टमेंट करने वाले हो तो आपको काफी वहां पे रेड कार्पेट बिछा के उन्होंने रखा हुआ है आपके लिए जब आप जाओगे ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज वेल और वो काफी कमिटमेंट भी दे रहे हैं उनके तरफ से इसलिए वो आज टाइम लेके आए हैं हम सबको यहाँ पे एड्रेस करने के लिए एज वेल From a timeline perspective और वन डबल एट ए आपका सबसे पहला जो चीज है हम आपका जो है इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट जो हम आई आर बोलते हैं उसको इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट हम तैयार करते हैं सो दिस असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रिटिकल बिकॉज इन दिस असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट विच वी मेक फॉर यू यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट टू और थ्री क्रिटिकल थिंग्स सबसे पहला चीज है कि आपके पॉइंट कितने बन रहे हैं क्योंकि ऑस्ट्रेलिया में जो हर स्टेट है वहां पे उनके कुछ एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरियाज है बिजनेस क्राइटेरियाज है पॉइंट्स क्राइटेरियाज है तो हमें भी आपको स्ट्रेटेजिक एडवाइस और स्ट्रेटेजिक गाइडेंस अगर देना होगा तो वी विल हैव टू लुक एट योर रिपोर्ट कार्ड या जो इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट है वो हमें देखना होगा इट इज लाइक अ सिटी स्कैन और डॉक्टर स्कैन यू नो आज अगर मैं डॉक्टर के पास जाऊंगा और डॉक्टर uh, मेरे को सामने से बोलेगा यार तू तो मस्त लग रहा है लेकिन अगर मेरे पेट में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है स्कैन के बाद उनको लग जाएगा कि मेरे को इन्फेक्शन है एंड वो गाइड कर सकते हैं तो वेरी सिमिलरली वी एडवाइज आर क्लाइंट्स टू डू द इनिशियल असेसमेंट बिकॉज दैट इज ऑफ आउटमोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस 
इसमें आपको पता चल जाएगा कि आपके पॉइंट्स कितने बन रहे हैं एज के हिसाब से एजुकेशन के हिसाब से टर्नओवर के हिसाब से एसेट्स के हिसाब से एज वेल पॉइंट्स बनने के बाद आपको ये भी पता चल जाएगा आपकी कौन से स्टेट्स में आप क्वालिफाई हो रहे हो एज वेल उसके बाद आपको ये भी पता चल जाएगा कि जो स्टेट में आप क्वालिफाई हो रहे हो वहां पे आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट रिस्क कितना लगेगा क्योंकि इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया काफी चेंज हो जाते हैं सिटी टू सिटी और स्टेट टू स्टेट में भी इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया कीप चेंजिंग सो यू विल गेट टू नो फ्रॉम आर टीम्स दैट वॉट इज द इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया एंड हाउ यू कैन मीट दो क्राइटेरिया एज वेल तो सबसे पहला चीज है हम आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स मंगाते हैं और आई uh, हम लोग तैयार करते थ्रू आर सिडनी ऑफिस जो हमारी लीगल टीम है ऑपरेशन टीम है वो सारे बैठ के दे मेक योर इनिशियल असेसमेंट जैसे ही आपका आई तैयार होके आ जाएगा हाइपोथेटिकली से आपने जून में आपका डॉक्यूमेंट्स आपने दे दिए तो 10 तारीख तक आपका आई आर बन के आ जाएगा 15 दिनों के अंदर 25 तारीख तक आपका ईओआई और स्टेट नॉमिनेशन लॉन्च हो जाएगा 15 दिनों के अंदर जैसे मैंने आपके कहा था वो जो स्पेशल ऑफर है हमारा जैसे हम आपका एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लॉन्च करेंगे विद इन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी डेज हमारे काफी क्लाइंट्स है जो पंद्रह और बीस दिन में भी उनके अप्रूवल आ गए लेकिन हम उनके हिसाब से जो लिखा हुआ है तीस से साठ दिन के अंदर आपका अप्रूवल आ जाएगा तो समझ लीजिए करीबन जुलाई में या अगस्त फर्स्ट वीक में आपका अप्रूवल आ जाएगा और हम आपका वीजा लॉन्च करेंगे उसके बाद जुलाई में या अगस्त में और वहां से आप बारह से अठारह महीने ले लीजिए तो नेक्स्ट ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डिसम्बर तक आपका वीजा आ जाएगा तब तक टिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टीन मंथस आपको कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं आपको बस रुकना है वीजा आने की तरफ जैसे ही वीजा आ जाएगा जैसे मैंने कहा था हम आपको वहां पे इनवाइट करेंगे आपको बिजनेसेस के ऑप्शंस दिखाएंगे हमारी टीम जाके आपको लाइव बिजनेसेस दिखाएंगे और फिर आपको इन्वेस्टमेंट करना होगा एज वेल सो जस्ट टू बी वेरी क्रिस्टल क्लियर की प्रोसेस क्या है और हम आपको कैसे हेल्प और असिस्टेंट कर पाएंगे एज वेल सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोल मंथ अगेन वॉट इज योर मेन मोटो टू माइग्रेट टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया आपका जो मेन इंटेंशन क्या है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में माइग्रेट uh, करने के लिए बिजनेस uh, एक्सपेंशन या फैमिली के लिए आप अपने बिजनेस के वजह से वहां पे माइग्रेट करना चाहते हो फैमिली और सेफ्टी के वजह से और कोविड नाइनटीन एज वेल एंड वाई आई हैव पुट दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन बिकॉज अबाउट सेवेंटी और एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हु आई स्पोक टू जिन्होंने जिनसे मैंने बात किया था काफी लोगों ने मेरे को कहा था कि दे आर मूविंग आई वॉन्ट टू मूव बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन एंड यू नो दे आर फेड अप of the current situation uh, you know right now as well and they just want to move with the family over there so i will just launch this poll in one minute aapko wapas 20 second ka time milega vote karne ke liye and we can all see what most of the people right now in this audience of around 250 to 300 people are saying right now of the main reason you know uh, or motto to go to australia as well why voting is still going on jaise hi maine aapko kaha tha ki aap assessment kijiye and we will make sure that your dreams are fulfilled uh, as well great so looks like people have voted and i'm happy to share the results uh, as well so around 53% of the people said family and safety yes of course 103 people out of the 260 people said family and safety which i also agree i know kafi logo ne kaha tha unke bacche ke future ke bare mein family ke safety ke bare mein uh, the reason why they wanted to go there about uh, 90 people or 46% mentioned business expansion तो काफी लोग को वहां पे जाना है अपने करंट बिजनेस एक्सपैंड करने के लिए जो हम आपको हेल्प करेंगे इंडस्ट्रीज आइडेंटिफाई uh, करने के लिए एंड अराउंड थ्री थ्री पीपल मैं कोविड नाइनटीन एज वेल जस्ट टू शेयर दीज रिजल्ट ऑल्सो विद यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर वोचिंग यू नो राइट नाउ एज वेल वी विल जस्ट क्विकली गो टू क्यू एन ए सेशन uh right now happy to take some live questions plus my team had also reached out to quite a few people uh, you know uh, to take down some of the questions do they have they had as well so some of the common questions jo aaye the ki when will the borders of australia open uh kafi logo ne pucha ki australia ke borders kab khulenge 
मैंने अभी थोड़ी देर पहले आपको मैंने इन्फॉर्म किया था कि जैसे ही आपका वीजा मिल जाएगा आप वहां पे जा पाओगे एज वेल तो ये काफी कॉमन क्वेश्चन था ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल जब मैंने बात किया था उनसे ये सारे मेरे को ये क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे थे सो आई थॉट इट वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एज वेल काफी लोगों ने मेरे से पूछा था कि वहां पे जो नए रिजीम पे इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया क्या है वो भी मैंने आपको सबको बताया हुआ है ऑलरेडी ऑल्सो uh, uh, एक किसी ने पूछा था कि इफ वी डोंट मीट द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ट्रिपल एट यू नो वॉट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिजेक्शन एज वेल सो इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हैप्पी टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन ऑन बिहाफ राइट नाउ ऑफ कार्तिके so i yeah. personally feel that you know you are already thinking about how it cannot happen but at phoenix you know my team here in india and australia will help you and show you a pathway of how you can over achieve the minimum requirement you know over there to aapko sochne ki zarurat nahi hai ek bar aap hamare saath ho maine starting mein hi kaha tha ki hamara aur aapka rishta 4 se 5 saal tak hai we are not a migration company ki humne aapka kaam karwa diya और आप वहां पे लैंड कर कर गए और हमने बोला कि हमारा काम हो गया जी वी आर विद यू थ्रू दैट एंटायर जर्नी टू मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक मनी एज वेल विच इज द मेन क्राइटेरिया एंड यू डोंट लूज एनी मनी एज वेल बिकॉज इफ यू डू नॉट सक्सीड वी ऑल्सो डू नॉट सक्सीड और आपका जो क्रेडिबिलिटी है इज आर क्रेडिबिलिटी एज वेल वेन एवर यू आर फ्री वंस द लॉकडाउन रिस्ट्रिक्शन आर आउट प्लीज प्लीज डू वॉक इन टू आर ऑफिस इन इंडिया uh over here and my teams will be more than happy to help you and guide you uh, as well hamara jo main aim hai ki aapke paise badhaye hamara jo main kaam hai ki aap jab australia aate ho tab hamare team aapke sath hai aapko businesses ke options bhi dikhayenge as well so we okay. just have some time to take a few q and a's uh, i will just put them up uh, as well for yeah. you uh, kartike you would like to answer kartike shall hi greg kavi Thanks, 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 for thanks for the information section. Um, the thing is, I've got a lot of questions here. I won't be able to answer all of them, uh, sure. but certainly can answer a few of them. Can Vishal? Can you uh, read out a few of the important questions, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how can an Indian buy land for agriculture in Queensland? So I guess it is post getting the business visa. The, it's post so, getting the business visa or any time a person needs to go through the FIRB uh, approval process for an investment review board we need to submit an application to to actually show the investment activity type and once the approval is there then we can uh, then the applicant can certainly invest into the uh, in buying an agricultural land that's okay so jisne um, question pucha hai ek bar unka naam uh abhinav maheshwari i think तो क्विंसलैंड में लैंड खरीदा जा सकता है बल्कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया में कहीं पे भी लेकिन फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट रिव्यू बोर्ड उस चीज को अप्रूव करेगा तभी वहां पे खरीदा जा सकता है लेकिन अगर आप परमानेंट रेजिडेंट हैं तो आप उस एग्रीकल्चर लैंड पे स्टैम्प ड्यूटी और बाकी लैंड टैक्स भी एक परमानेंट रेजिडेंट की तरह अवेल कर सकते हैं जैसे की ऑस्ट्रेलियन ने किया और बड़ा इजिली हो सकता है इसलिए शुरुआत ऐसी है कि बिजनेस वीजा एक आपको पाथवे देता है एक आपको समझाता है कि वहां पे बिजनेस नेटवर्क कैसे बनाया जाए वहां पे बिजनेस के तौर तरीके सीखे जाए ठीक है इनिशियली दो से ढाई साल बाद जब आप अप्लाई कर सकेंगे ट्रिपल एट वीजा के लिए जब आप परमानेंट रेजिडेंसी के लिए अप्लाई कर पाएंगे तब आपको तब तक आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि यहाँ पे बिजनेस कैसे किया जाता है ठीक है उस दिन के बाद से लैंड खरीदा जाए तो ज्यादा बेहतर है लेकिन अगर उससे पहले भी खरीदना चाहते हैं तो डेफिनेटली फिनिक्स आपकी उस चीज में मदद कर सकता है the answer is getting the approval from the FIRB process but it's much better to to actually understand the knows how of the business um acumen how people do business in australia and after that getting getting to like after after creating a business network it's much better to apply for a triple eight visa which is the permanent residency and uh buy the agricultural land after like there after right the other one is any important one yeah um, this important question is uh, can we change our business from what we have already se selected in the visa application mr sumit choudhry and i understand that's yeah. a very fair question because a lot of things change in the in 15 months you know uh, as well so uh, very interesting question so yeah so uh, the, the the answer to that question is yes from queensland's point of view all you have to do 
is uh, fill out one of our change of investment forms uh, and we put that on file. And yes, it's a very easy process. Uh, you know, we, we recognize, as you said, Trishal, that, you know, events change very quickly. We look at the world 12 months ago and what it is today. So um, yeah, definitely you can do that. Yes. Uh, for all of Australia, I would say New South Wales does have the change in business activity form. Uh, Victoria does have it uh, in Western Australia or in South Australia. Uh, if you have to change it, then uh, you don't have to sign a declaration. That's the thing. Uh, but pretty much Queensland is happy to do it. So the government does understand that if it is not feasible for an applicant to do the business at that point of time, because industry does change after one or two years, so it is okay. But an explanation needs, uh, need, like they need to provide an explanation for it. That's pretty much it, I believe. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, somebody asked Greg that what is the term CIF, you know, used by uh, Greg? Okay, so uh, CIF, it means complying investment framework. Um, and Perfect. the the complying investment framework, which is um, mandated by, by government. So there are a number of um, uh, SIV, significant investor visa compliant funds here in Australia. Uh, so you must invest into a compliant fund. As I said, uh, on the 1st of July, uh, that uh, complying investment framework will be 20% of the fund must be in venture capital or private growth equity funds. 30% uh, must be in uh, balance, sorry, in eligible managed funds or listed investment companies, uh, basically under 500 um, million uh, dollars capital investment and then the, the final 50% is a, is a balancing fund uh, which goes into just general uh, listed investment uh, corporations or ant securities bonds uh, you can also have about 10% in real property as well as part of that so a very diverse complying investment fund but still mandated so you can't that five million dollars and also the new 2.5 million dollars you can't you can choose which funds you wish to invest in in those complying investment funds but the different organizations will have them offer them to you uh, but uh, you have to follow that framework you just can't go and invest in stocks or bonds yourself got it thank you mr amit rai has asked that is ielts mandatory is as i cannot give an english test or is there any substitute uh, for it there I is a substitute, I believe. Uh, business, uh, business migration does allow you to uh, like pay for SAF uh, once the visa grant uh, is going to be there, right? So one has to, the primary applicant needs to pay $9,995, I believe. It uh, keeps on changing. It doesn't change specific, uh, like more tremendously or something, but yeah, around $10,000 is for the primary applicant. Any other applicant who's included in the visa application above the age of 18 needs to pay around $5,000, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the yes. other uh, thing is, uh, Greg, a lot of people have been asking this question that the visa application, the processing time is around, uh, it shows on the website around 32, 33 months somewhere. Uh, as we're getting the visas for 188A, we have seen it comes within 15 to 17 months. So they want to know if there will be a shorter time frame uh, in future because it has it has been listed under priority processing times. Yeah. Yeah, look, yeah. It, it's certainly something that the Commonwealth government has acknowledged that the processing times have, have uh, gone out too far. Um, yeah. And um, so they've, there's going to be obviously with the, the COVID environment at the moment, there's less skill processing going on here in Australia. So they're diverting what normally would be skill processes into the business processing team uh, yeah. with, the, with the vision of in the next 12 months, uh, that timeline should come down by 12 months, if you like. Nice. That's, That's good. Cool. Because back uh, in the time, question. I remember in 2012, it used to be seven to 12 months when, uh, when the visas started for the 188 and 132 categories. So I hope it comes to that. So all all of our uh, viewers will be so much happy. Yes, attendees yeah. and everyone. Yeah. Look, uh, I, you know, I apologize on behalf of all of the governments here for this, uh, for this time. We certainly don't want to see it like that. Uh, unfortunately, it's just an indication of how popular 
uh, the business program is um, worldwide now here in Australia. Uh, and uh, there's just, you know, popularity and uh, that leads to length in timeframes, but we hope they will come down significantly in the next 12 months. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks a lot. Um, uh, next question is for Greg. Uh, Mr. Javed wanted to know how's the hotel and restaurant and bar business in Queensland? Can we take any property on lease uh, over there? Uh, well, it's booming, uh, to be quite frank. Um, uh, we did have a period here early on in the COVID uh, uh, process here in Australia um, where we were locked down, I think, for around about uh, a month and then th three months in total uh, with some, you know, some types of uh, restrictions. Uh, but basically since July, August last year, uh, Australia has been COVID free. Uh, the only usual cases of COVID that come in uh, from returning people internationally. So uh, there's no local transmission. Uh, there's a small outbreak in Melbourne at the moment, um, but for the rest of Australia, it's COVID free. Uh, therefore, uh, people are out in force enjoying themselves. Uh, so the restaurant businesses and the bar businesses have, have surely uh, rebounded very well. Nice. Karthike, uh, one question for you. Uh, yeah. Do we need to invest in Australia in one go or can I do it in two parts? India does not allow more than $250,000 uh, repatriation yeah. per year. How so, do I overcome this challenge? Yeah, so okay. under the uh, RBI guidelines here in India, $250,000 USD, which is around three hundred and twenty to 330000 Australian dollars, can be transferred to any other overseas country. Um, in a financial year as an individual, right? So that's the thing. But initially to answer this, 188A, you get a visa for four years and three months regarding the uh, old norms, right? You have four years and three months in order to invest the promised amount. So you do not have to invest in one go, right? We do know that every single person wants to look at the foreign exchange rate and everything. So a person needs to invest gradually in, uh, like it's something that you have to fulfill the necessity of the business. You have to fulfill your uh, family relocation expenses and everything, but slowly and gradually invest the promised amount. Once you have invested uh, all the promised uh, amounts, plus with that you have fulfilled all the triple eight eligibility requirements, then you will be able to apply for a permanent residency through a triple eight visa, right? So that's pretty much it. One does not need to invest in one go for sure. But for 188B, in order to get the visa, one has to invest in the government bonds, $1.5 million uh, before they get the visa. So for that, a person needs to be pre-prepared, right? So uh, all the all the other details for the corporate bonds and the government bonds will be shared to all our clients who have applied for it. But certainly one needs to, prepare, to start preparing for it. If the limit is $250,000, they have to open up an Australian bank account. They can set it up from India as well. It's not something that is impossible because all the most of the major Australian banks are here in India as well, in Mumbai and Delhi. So that can be set it up. We can always help our clients in order to uh, share the links or something for the banks. So that is not a problem at all. Uh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greg, somewhere if I've... Oh, the, the only thing I'd say, Kardaki, is... Uh, yeah that the, the bond is finished now, so. Um, yeah, that, that is yeah. finished. Uh, I know uh, most of the clients who are inquiring about it is um, is the people who have applied for the 188B back in the day. So Back in the day, yeah, but uh, the that now you can't apply for it now, so um, it's yeah. finished. So it'd be the new investment, complying investment framework uh, from the 1st of July. Yeah. Another interesting question is, uh, during my temporary residency, Mr. Rahul has asked, is our child education and family health covered? Uh, family health cover, you do need to take a private medical uh, cover, right? But uh, the education for the kids in school, primary and high school is uh, is being provided by the, in public school, it is, uh, it is free. Whereas for the other temporary residents, it's $5,600 a year. But for the business migrants, especially, it is free. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for the international students, uh, for, for the students who wants to study in universities, I believe st international student fees will apply. 
till the time they don't receive the permanent residency, but they don't have to get a student visa for it because certainly they will be on a business migrant visa, right? Um, yeah, after getting the permanent residency, international student fees will be gone. Then they can uh, avail all the benefits that an Australian student gets. So that should be okay. And I want to say that as many of the questions have been asked for about 100 questions, all the questions are answered mainly in the initial assessment report. You are eligible for which state, which state, इन्वेस्टमेंट या फिर कौन कौन सी जो भी क्वेश्चंस हैं आपके कि मैं कोई इंस्टेंट में ये खरीदना चाहता हूँ मैं ये बिजनेस करना चाहता हूँ या फिर मैं कोई दूसरे बिजनेस की एलिजिबिलिटी जानना चाहता हूँ या फिर मैं पहले बिजनेस खरीद के मेलबर्न जा सकता हूँ कोई जा सकता हूँ सिडनी जा सकता हूँ कौन सी चीज बेहतर है ये सारी चीजों का जवाब इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट में मिलेगा अगर हमसे आज यहाँ पे काफी सवाल छूट जाएंगे लेकिन मैं बोलूंगा उन सारे सवालों का जवाब आपको आई के अंदर मिल जाएगा आने वाले समय में जैसे कि क्विंसलैंड के साथ में हम एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लॉन्च करेंगे अगर आप इस वीजा के लिए एलिजिबल हैं तो प्लीज अपने इनिशियल असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट बनवाएं साथ ही साथ जितने भी लोग वेबिनार में प्रेजेंट हैं इन सभी की आईआर के साथ में एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट क्विंसलैंड के लिए प्रिपेयर किया जाएगा जो जो भी क्विंसलैंड जाना चाहता है ठीक है तो जिसके लिए भी जिसका भी इस चीज के लिए इंटरेस्ट है डेफिनेटली लेट आर टीम नो पार इट एंड वी विल हैपी to to answer pretty much all the questions in future over the phone call as well and we will email everyone jo bhi unke questions ke answer hai unfortunately as the time is uh, yeah. really running out we yeah. we will not be able to answer each and every single question but definitely <laughs> it will be answered through email and uh, our our team will contact you shortly not yes. a problem so a lot of people uh, had a lot of questions you know specific to their industries whether it was mining stone stone mining iron and steel logistic cold storage businesses as well so like kartike mentioned uh, please get your initial assessment uh, done and all your questions will be answered in fact uh, i will be setting up a one to one call with kartike post your uh, you know assessment and he'll be happy to strategically you know guide you in that regard uh, as well ऑल्सो आपको बताने के लिए कि जब आप इन्वेस्ट करते हो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में काफी लोगों ने मेरे से ये सवाल पूछा क्योंकि वो यूएस के साथ कंपेयर कर रहे थे ईबी फाइव के साथ कंपेयर कर रहे थे आपके अकाउंट इंडिया में से आपको आप ही के अकाउंट ऑस्ट्रेलिया में पैसे डालने हैं आपके अकाउंट से ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आपको आपके बिजनेस के इन्वेस्टमेंट्स करने प्रॉपर्टी के इन्वेस्टमेंट्स करने तो पैसे का पूरा कंट्रोल आप ही के पास है देर इज नो थर्ड पार्टी फोर्थ पार्टी कमिंग इन दिस all the control of all your money is with you you will transfer these funds from your account in india to your account in australia and from that account you will transfer it into your businesses and investments uh, as well so that entire money control is with you and yourself uh, only also you can go on to our website there are a lot of client testimonials which are available uh, as well post your initial assessment i will personally connect you to three or four reference clients you can speak to them on their journey with us on their journey to australia how's their files you know being prepared by us some feedback as well that will give you a lot of credibility and trust you know to start your process uh, with us uh, as well uh, over here so uh, we have uh, one more poll last poll today uh, to run and uh, would you like to submit an initial assessment report and expression of interest to queensland government in the next 10 days इसमें खाली यस और नो आंसर है ग्रेग दिस इज कमिंग टू यू गोनो क्लिक यस ऑल दीज फाइल्स आर गोनो कम टू यू इन योर ऑफिस सो आई विल बी जस्ट लॉन्चिंग दिस पोल एज वेल दिस इज द लास्ट पोल फॉर द डे डू वोट यू हैव ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स टू वोट राइट नाउ एंड आई विल शेयर द पोल रिजल्ट यू नो विद यू एज वेल वाइल यू आर वोटिंग अगेन a uh, very critical information is to get your initial assessment done aapki jo iar hai initial assessment please aap karwa dijiye isme aapka loss nahi hai agar aap qualify nahi ho rahe ho aapka fees 100% refund ho jata hai uh, as well however you will get clarity aur ek do teen saal ka aapko dikhega ki aap kya karne wale ho uh, as well happy to share the results uh, so we have around 90 people who have said yes they would like to get their expression of interest for queensland 
and I are done. That's a great number. And uh, I hope these files all come through and we will be checking, you know, your uh, data and files that they all meet the basic eligibility criteria or APK files in ke pass jana hai or in ke team ko check karke hamare pass wapis ana hai. So just to let you guys uh, also know uh, as well, I'm sure the ones that who have said no are maybe looking at certain other states uh, due to, uh, you know, some contacts and connections. End of the day, it is one country and we also deal with one, you know, country uh, as well uh, and one visa as well, like I mentioned to you uh, in the start. Uh, also, still, still Trishal, it's a, it's a very encouraging uh, result. So uh, thank you is. everyone for that, for that endorsement. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please do go on to our website and download our Phoenix uh, magazine. You will get a lot of information on that as well. You will also get a brief idea on how the taxation and GST norms, you know, function in Australia as a country or in their states, uh, you know, as well. So there's a lot of information. You can subscribe as well to our newsletters. We will be sending you a lot of information, you know, on that piece as well. Just to reiterate that uh, this entire money that we have collected through your personal registrations, the money is going towards a charity. We are not keeping this money uh, towards a COVID relief fund. And within the next 48 hours, you will all be getting the receipts, uh, you know, uh, for this as well from this uh, organization, Hope for the Children Foundation here in uh, India. So I just wanted to thank uh, Greg McKean once again for joining us today and sharing some great insights, uh, you know, to Queensland. I hope and see, uh, you know, that a lot of files will be coming through uh, to you as well. Wanted to personally thank uh, Sally as well for coming in today. Uh, you know, she's our uh, Mara uh, registered agent who does all our files and they all go through her as well. Personally wanted to thank Kartike for answering all your technical questions, uh, which were there. And most of all, wanted to thank you, you know, for coming out on a weekday or at 12 noon, you know, midday. Some of you are at work, some of you are at home. Some of you have already asked me to share the videos with them because they could not make it through for the entire presentation, which we will be doing as well. My teams will all contact and connect you. Our teams are with you in this week. We will connect and contact you. Again, don't miss out on this opportunity to file your EOIs. As I mentioned, this opportunity, please lose not lose. We are with you. This is also with you. Mr. Greg and Sally are with you. This is with us. And we will ensure that your files and visa will increase with us. With you as well. So thank you so much for your time. I think we just finished on time as well. Thanks once again, all of you, for joining in. Be safe. Thank you. And thank you so much for your time. I think we just finished on time as well. Thanks once again, all of you, for joining in. Be safe. And thank you so much once again. See you soon. Thank you, Trishal. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, Sally. Thanks, Garthi.